Sweden's Magnus Samuelsson, who by his own admittance does not like this event one little bit. Lift. So a massive weight as always, 683 pounds, always struggling already. Now is that a back problem? Quite often with deadlifting, the lower muscles in the back often go into spasm. I hope that hasn't happened to Magnus, who goes down for it once more, locks his fingers around that bar, drags it up his thighs, and that is one lift, and I suspect that might be enough. He just did enough for a point, but I fear he's going to end up in last place here, and he can't afford to do that. Well, this could be easy pickings for Raymond's Bergmanis, and just take a look at his haircut. Unbelievable. I think we should nickname him the Latvian Monk now. <laughs> but Bergmanis is good at this lift. Make no mistake. He must have made this movement in gymnasiums many, many thousands of times in preparation for his Olympic lifting. So five is the target. Sven Carlsen, the injured Norwegian, still in the lead. But no more. Bergmanis moves on. It's all looking terribly familiar. We've seen this performance from Bergmanis before in past World's Strongest Man competitions. Just a little bit of a tear on the hands there. The dried out skin will be being pulled to shreds by that bar. But he carries on, he ignores the pain. And this is a good total by the Latvian. It's not fast, it's not explosive. It's long and steady and very, very strong. Certainly the fatigue is set in now for Bergmanis. He's got to get it to arm's length and straighten up to be given it by the referee, Douglas Edmonds. No lift, says Dougie. Nine repetitions for Ravens Bergmanis. That is a superb total. The Latvian is in first place. He's going to take a look at that hand, I'm sure, to make sure there's no damage. Absolutely super. The mad monk has done it. Were your hands hurting so you couldn't do anymore? Yeah, if I not cut my blisters, I did 11. Sure. That was sure. If I, after seven, seven I won't finish it. Well, of course, the crowd asked for more. I did two more. But, but of course, that is the reason why I did only nine minutes. Well, a prodigious total was set by Bergmanis. Now it's the turn of the defending champion. Lift. Marius Buzhanovsky has Down. shown what a brilliant lifter Good he lift. is in the gym lift. and in World's Strongest Man in the past. Down. Good lift. lift. When he won his first title, I Down. think, if my Good memory lift. serves me well, lift. he won the first three events. Down. He hasn't done that Good here. Lift. In lift. fact, finished fourth in his first event and Down. second, then a first, lift. Lift. but that has meant he's 12 points Down. in total, Good five lift. points behind lift. the overall leader, Vasil Varastyuk. So he certainly has Good got lift. a bit to prove. That lift. is seven lift. lifts so far, so going well. And still plenty of time in the bank. 75 seconds, the time limit. And what a spectacular Down. location for lift. this event. Eight lifts, one more to draw level with Raymond's Bergmanis. Solid muscle is Marius. Down. And that has drawn level Down. with Raymond's Bergmanis. One more to go into the lead. Down. Down. He wants to know what sort of time Down. is left. He can't hear anybody tell him. He's just got to get on with it now. Now one more makes him a clear leader. And it could be two event wins in a row. Down. Yes, he's got it. Ten repetitions all together right on the stroke of full time his hands were nearly torn off there but that is a very impressive performance from the champion from last year and the year before he's asking for confirmation in terms of how many lifts somebody shouted out 10 that was superb boy is he going to be tough to beat that is for sure that lift is good for me only next athlete is but uh, magnus one repetition uh, spend five is best for me because uh, Vassil have five five points up. I have uh, five points to Vassil. 
Uh, now only two points up is bad, three points up was bad for me. Well, this is the man that's been worrying, Marius Pudzianowski. Take your grip. Vasil Varastyuk of the Ukraine. And already two first places and a second. Lift. Well, it really was a heck of a total set by Marius. Ten repetitions. Down. Good lift. And when lift. you think that the weight being lifted is effectively Down. nearly 700 pounds, lift. I mean, that is phenomenal. But Vrastyuk is on his way, Down. tough competitor, three lift. reps so far. Sven Carlson on five, Down. and he's Good in second lift. place lift. behind Pudzianowski at You're the moment. Okay. He's got plenty of time left, as Dougie Edmonds has just been saying to him. I think this guy is more at home when he's got to push things rather than lifting them Down. off the deck. Good lift. Not bad lift. at all. So Vrastyuk trying to make some headway on Marius Pudzianowski. I just get the feeling, though, that the pole has produced one of his best efforts in this final so far in producing those 10 reps. You've got to lock the fingers around that bar and stop it rotating. There's only about 10 seconds to go now. One mammoth effort required to get this final repetition up. He's wobbling a bit, but Douglas Edmund says yes. And the customary cry of joy from Vasil Verastyuk. He's not going to win the competition with those six reps, but it is nevertheless a very, very good effort once again. Well, when Puzhinovsky was interviewed after his event Take in the deadlift, he mentioned Verastyuk, but he didn't mention Zavikas. And Zavikas, at the moment, is still ahead of the pole by some two points. It's going to be interesting to see what happens here. Well, I have to say, this guy is Stay Mr. Right. Consistency at the moment. Down. He's producing Good some lift. very lift. solid performances and is still there Down. fighting Good for lift. this title, lift. despite the fact we're only halfway through. Down. We're just approaching the halfway lift. stage lift. at the end of this event. That is Down. looking good. good lift. Lift. The first target is the six reps by Vasil Verastyuk. And then, lift. of course, we've got Raymond's Bergmanis and... Of course, the magnificent Pujanovsky on 10. Good lift. Lift. Just slowing down a little bit here. But certainly this former power lifter will be very confident about this lift. exercise. A little bit more chalk now on the hands. Just easing out the back, stretching the back muscles. A little bit of a blow. Get some oxygen in those lungs. You notice he's not wearing any shoes. That gets him in a better position to make the lift from. He's got seven reps so far. So he's in third place. Can he make any further advance on that? He's asking for the amount of time left. Five seconds just. I don't think he's going to have any more attempts. So Zavikas, third, third, first. And now he's going to be in third place once more. But that event was all about Pudzianowski, who's got a big, big six points in this event. And this entire competition could well have swung on that one event. Bergmanis picking up good points to remain a credible force, but the defending champion Pudzianowski showing why he is always the man to beat. Well, after two rather one-sided finals, this is just the kind of contest we wanted. At the halfway stage, just two points separating the three main contenders. What were your sporting ambitions when you were growing up? My dream is the same as all athletes. In my chosen sport, I want to be the best. And the president of your federation has given you a flat, hasn't he? Tell us about that. Yes, we had a big meeting before this event, and it was a really big surprise, this gift. Whilst I was flying from Kiev to here, well, it was all I could think of. I was so happy. Now I'm trying not to think about it and just focus on the competition. You have a young baby at home, so how do you manage to fit in all the training with actually being a, a dad? <laughs> 